All right, hello everybody. My name is The Last Huddler, and as you probably know from one of my previous videos, I'm one of the lead blockchain developers from a software company in the UK called Online Blockchain. And I just wanted to follow on from our last video where we set up a web server um, to make our cryptocurrency website. And this um, second tutorial is gonna be all about um, adding a front end to that website. So like a thing you'd actually see when you visited the website, okay, like the front end. Um, and we're also gonna be setting up a cryptocurrency daemon um, so that the website can talk to it and do cryptocurrency things like um, display balance, um, make a new wallet, uh, query the blockchain, see how the blockchain is doing, information about the blockchain, all that kind of thing. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to open your virtual box and you need to go to this website here, startbootstrap.com. I'll leave this exact link in the uh, description so that you can just copy paste it right in. And we're going to grab a bootstrap theme from here, which is going to be our front, front end. Okay, um, the reason I use bootstrap is because it's super simple and clean uh, to use and the um, kind of the learning curve to adopt Bootstrap as your sort of front-end framework. It's a really not steep learning curve at all. It's quite easy to get into. Okay, so once you're on this website, um, click the free download button and that will download this theme. Okay, so just save that into the downloads folder and then we'll go from there. So now that it's downloaded, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a terminal and we're going to move um, that folder into our web route, okay? So that uh, it will be served when we you know, visit the website, okay? So um, this isn't a fresh channel, so I'll just get rid of everything here. Okay, so what we're going to do to get this um, bootstrap template into our web route is we're going to do a command um, called move, which is just MV, but we need to run it with root permissions. So type sudo MV, okay? And then we're gonna go into our downloads folder by typing tilde um, slash downloads, but with a capital D, make sure there's capital D and then slash start. And then I'm just gonna click tab to autofill that because our uh, bootstrap theme is called start bootstrap, okay? So I just type start and then I hit the tab key to autocomplete um, the rest of that long title, okay? So now that we've got um, what, we're, what we're moving, which is that folder, we need to have like a destination for where it's supposed to go. So we're gonna be putting that in slash var slash www, which is our web route, okay? And once we've done that, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna say CD, so we're gonna change directory to slash var slash www, okay? So now we're in that folder, okay? And now I'm gonna open that in a graphical user interface um, kind of way and rename some folders. So the way we can open kind of like the finder window is we type Nautilus and then dot. Dot is like the current directory that we're in. So the program Nautilus is gonna open this window here that you can see. Um, if it didn't work and says you need to install Nautilus, um, you simply have to type sudo apt install uh, Nautilus, Nautilus um, to get Nautilus. And once you've installed it, then you can use that command um, that failed. Okay, I just realized you can't um, run Nautilus and, and play with the files without um, enabling root permissions. So the first thing we're gonna to have to type is sudo and then Nautilus and then dot. Okay, so now um, we can unzip this. Extract. Okay, extraction completed successfully. Okay, so let's close that. And now this is um, gonna become our HTML folder. So let's rename this to HTML old and we will rename this to HTML, let's get rid of this zip. Now, if you look inside here, we have an index.html file. So when we go to uh, 127.0.0.1, our home address, okay, it's gonna come into this HTML file and it's gonna serve this index file, okay? So let's do that. All right, cool, so now our uh, template has been loaded in, we can start actually building our cryptocurrency um, application, okay? But before we do that, I'm just gonna rename um, some of this stuff here that um, isn't relevant to our cryptocurrency website. So like start bootstrap, let's put our own title there. Let's put our own title here. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install something called Sublime, which is just kind of a better text editor than comes native on Ubuntu. The best one you get on Ubuntu is um, like Get It or Nano, and they just, they don't have the same um, ease of use functionality um, so for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna install something called Sublime. So I'll leave the commands in the description that you need um, to install Sublime, okay? Um, and then you'll just run them one by one if you want Sublime 2 and then um, install it that way. But once you've done so, 
Um, it's time to now open a new terminal. Okay. And we're going to open this HTML file here and start editing it and changing um, these values that don't make sense to our website. Okay, so the, what you type is sudo because we need to be in root permissions again to change any of this stuff. I might change the permissions later so that we don't have to type sudo every time, but for now, um, just type sudo and then subl, that opens subl, that's um, the program sublime, subl. Um, and then we're going to open index.html. Type a new password. Oh, actually, we're not in the correct place right now, so we need to go subl slash var slash www slash html slash index dot php uh, dot html. And that should load it. Okay, great. Let's make this a little bit bigger so that we can see what we're doing. All right, great. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this thing that says start bootstrap. And I want to change that to say cryptocurrency website, okay? So I'm going to say, when I'm in Sublime, I'm going to hit Control H, that's find and replace. So now every time um, we type something in here and click uh, enter, it will go through the entire file and replace um, that with whatever you put in the second field. So start bootstrap, okay? We're going to replace that with cryptocurrency website. Great, just type those two in those boxes. Excuse me, and then you would hit replace all. And now, when we put Control S to save, okay, put in my password. Okay. Oops. Now, when we reload this page uh, by hitting Control F5, that's like a hard refresh. Okay. You can see here that it says cryptocurrency website. Okay. So I'm just going to change a few more things. I'm going to change this web developer kind of slogan down here as well. Uh, where is that? Okay. That, that's down here on line 61. I'm going to change that to this website can interact with blockchains, okay? Because that's what we're going to be doing with this website. We're going to be adding a bunch of functionality to let it interact with the blockchain, okay? All right, put in my password. All right, the next thing I want to change is I want to change um, these navbar buttons because they scroll to like each different part of each different page. Well, not each different page, each different section of the website, right? So um, I'm going to need to change those. Actually, first what I'll do is I'll change the names of the sections, um, and then that'll give you an idea of what we're planning to do with, with this website, which is quite a few things, okay? So the first one I want to change is portfolio, okay? So what I'm going to do with portfolio is I'm going to display a whole bunch of um, information um, by querying a full node, querying a full node, um, of the cryptocurrency that we're going to integrate into this website. So the cryptocurrency we're going to integrate is called Brazio, and it's a Bitcoin fork. And all of the um, remote procedure calls for Brazio are exactly the same as Bitcoin. Okay, so once we've um, implemented Brazio, it will be just as easy to implement Bitcoin with exactly the same code, pretty much. Um, so that's why I'm choosing Brazio for this. So let's um, change this navbar button to, instead of being portfolio, we'll change it to Brazio info. Okay, because we're going to be displaying all kinds of different things about the Brazil blockchain on this web page by querying a full node from that from that cryptocurrency. Okay, so the next one um, I want to change is the about, uh, and I'm going to change that one to cryptocurrency. Actually, I'm going to change it to Brazio wallet. So this next section here, I'm going to um, change it to be a wallet information section. So I'm going to get. Um, the website to create a wallet for the user and then display the wallet's receive address, like the address that you would send coins to. And I'll also get it to um, like display the balance of, of that particular wallet. So your user will know the balance. Okay. So that's what we're going to be changing that section to. And then the final section, which is the contact section, um, we're going to create a wallet kind of like a interface out of that. So you'd be able to send coins um, to another wallet of um, that cryptocurrency. So for Brazio, you'll be able to type in, you know, a receive address and an amount, and we'll click a button, and that will send those coins um, to that user, to that uh, wallet, okay? So let's change the third one to um, send Brazio. How about that? Send Brazio. Okay, so now that we've done that, it's time to actually change each of um, these forms and each of these sections to have like the correct information with them, okay? So um, I'll get some images together and when you hover over them, 
um, you'll be able to see certain information about the blockchain. Okay, but for the first section we'll do, we'll just do the about section first. So in the about section, let's scroll down to the about section in the HTML, here we go. So this one will be, this first section here will be receive address, okay? And we'll just set it to O of X for now, okay? And then this section here, this second section, we'll change that to balance. And then we'll just set, set the default to 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros, okay? So let's save that. Okay, now let's just refresh the page to see exactly what we've done. And that's control F5 again. Okay, so we'll we'll load the receive address into this one and we'll load the balance into this one. And actually, we'll just get rid of that download now button as well. We don't need that. Okay. All right. So the next one we're going to be doing is this form here. Okay. So this contact me form, the title will now be changed to, let's change to send Brazio, okay? Um, and now we don't need name, address, phone number, and message. We only need, let's see, we need receive address in the name, receive address. So change the label, and then also we'll change the placeholder here to receive address. And then the ID of this input, this input here, right? We'll need to change the ID of that uh, to be, let's say, address. Okay. And now, instead of the email address, we'll change that to amount. Okay. And we'll just change the type to text. We won't change the type to number. We'll change the, uh, we'll change the type to text. And then we'll do um, like validation checks on that uh, using the back end. So we won't need to like do validation checks on the amount yet. Okay, so now, uh, we've got receive address, we've got amount, uh, we don't need phone number, so let's just get rid of that completely. Um, yeah, and then we can, so with a, with a, with a transaction on Brazio or on Bitcoin, you can actually add a label to the message, like a little message on your transaction um, to remind you what it, what it was for, for example. Um, so we'll have the last field as the label and we'll also change the placeholder for that to label. And the placeholder for amount will change to amount. All right. And then we'll get rid of this text area here. We don't need that. Okay. And then we have our send button here. We don't need to change that. Okay. Let's save that and control F5. Okay, so, whoops, we didn't change the title of the about section. Let's change that to Brazio Walt. Okay. All right. Brazio Wallet and send Brazio. All right, well, that seems about enough for this video. It's getting to about 15 minutes now, so I don't want to drag on for too long. But in the next um, episode of this series, um, I'll be installing Brazio, the Brazio daemon. So this, um, this uh, Ubuntu virtual box will become a full Brazio node, and then we will use um, this website to interact with um, the Brazio blockchain and do all the stuff that we set out to do in this episode. So thank you very much for watching and make sure you subscribe if you want to learn all the things about blockchain and cryptocurrencies that you might want to learn. Um, I'll break them down into really easy steps that you'll be able to follow along and you can become a blockchain developer and create blockchain applications of your very own. So thank you very much for watching and as always, remember to hold for as long as possible.